what's up guys so this is model one which i use for my personal use okay this is icd 930 judas model okay this very powerful model and if you are sticking to it this will be letting you go till profitability right so now what is judas according to icd the name judas wing is a reference to the term judas goat a judas goat leads sheep into slaughterhouse but turns away before entering themselves the Judas goat remains alive and we got lamb chops. We get lamb chops, right? It means the Judas goat is so manipulative. Judas goat is so manipulative, so intelligent, that it will not let you achieve what you want to achieve, okay? Now, where to focus on? So, the simple thing is liquidity sweep. Liquidity sweep, SMT diversions, market structure shift, right? And now what we would be using is in PDA or matrix, the fair value gap, the breakup block, and order blocks are inversion fair value gap. I've made all these videos in our mentorship. I'm not here to advertise the mentorship. You can buy it or either just leave it. Okay, you can get things from external sources. Okay, so let me show you the example through depiction. It's very easy to understand. So here's the depiction. Market has take took out this sell side liquidity, right? This is uh, the sell side liquidity has been taken out. Then this is the evening chart. This is 9.30 opening. Then we got SMT divergence. You can see in NASDAQ, we found a swing failure. Then a structure shift. We can enter from the breakup block. Uh, either we can enter from the fair value gap. Or either we can enter from inversion fair value gap. We have multiple ways of entries, right? So... If this happens at 930 open, SMT divergence, a structure shift, we should be aiming for the buy side liquidity. Why? Because sales stop has been taken out. Now our main focus is to take out the buy side liquidity. But but the thing is, here we should have the criteria of hitting any high time frame PDA, which we'll be showing you in the chart examples. So let's go to understand the chart examples. So this is the US under daily chart, okay? So we should be must keeping that thing in our mind that we should be following internal value liquidity and external value liquidity relationship, right? And and then we should be following the idea of time frame alignments, right? So this is the daily chart. And internal value liquidity has been filled up, now external value liquidity. So if we go to one order chart, now we can measure if we are bullish or bearish, right? So our main focus is this external value liquidity, but on the minor side, if we see, market has shifted the structure right there. And there is uh, the timing of 9.30. If market is taking out this buy side liquidity, according to criteria, then we can go to this leg's fair valuation. Now, fair valuation is the 50 percentage of any leg, right? If you are measuring that high to that low, then this would be our fair, fair valuation. So we should be waiting for that, that fair valuation or either if buy side liquidity has been taken out, we can short till that fair valuation and we can um, have good scalps there, right? So this is the buy side liquidity, which is um, external value liquidity. Also, this is the buy side liquidity. We should be waiting. If market at 930 is taking out the sell side liquidity, then we can go and aim for the high price right higher prices but if market is not taking out the sell side liquidity taking out buy side liquidity then this sell, sell side liquidity must be taken out why because this is the leg fair valuation the fair value gap must be filled up right so if we go to now five minute chart you can see we are totally in premium right premium this is the buy side liquidity also this is the buy side liquidity now we should be marking out the 930 candle let's do it so this is the 930 candle let's see if market is taking out the buy side liquidity or this sell side liquidity first then we will be waiting for the structure shift or smt divergences to confirm the move right let's play this out So 9.30, now we got in a structure shift here, 
all right so if we got in a structure shift right there then we took out the buy side liquidity a structure shift and there we can see the SMT divergence is on in other correlated pairs but but we can see my market is uh, taking out this structure shift right and um, then we can anticipate from that area of price to go lower till that sell side liquidity why because this is in premium if you if you see now let's uh, have a short position there right so let's see how it goes off and we should be you know like go for one to two so if there is uh, one to two nope let me just do it okay one to two let's see it plays out okay good done one to two that's how it works okay so this is the another example of Nantari Judas model now you can see we are strongly in bullish momentum now external rain liquidity and internal rain liquidity so this is external rain liquidity or we can consider this by side liquidity as an external rain liquidity now this internal rain liquidity has been filled up right if you check it out internal rain liquidity now our main goal is to take out this external or either this external right so if you go to one or a chart why we are not using the weekly and um, and other charts because uh, because uh, we have uh, the idea from daily chart okay because this is uh, the market is creating all-time highs that's why we have no imbalances in weekly charts all right that's why we are watching the daily chart okay now we have hit this internal rain liquidity why should we be marking out this breaker block price can reverse from that breaker block or either we we can hit from the volume imbalance which is this right which is this gap if you mark it out this is also the PDRA and volume imbalance are very powerful market goes there right if there is a favorable gap it will be disrespecting it because of this volume imbalance so we should be keeping that in our head right volume imbalance now volume imbalance this is the volume imbalance we should be marking out the non 30 candle too right this is one more chart 30 minute right so let's see okay 9 30 there you go and if we are at 15 minute chart we should be targeting the buy side liquidity why because price is strongly bullish can reject from this area right we should be marking out that the whole volume imbalance in 15 minutes right so this can be internal value liquidity and then we would be focusing on this external value liquidity right there so let's see how, is, how it plays out right the one minute chart you can um, go from five minute chart one minute chart a three minute chart a two minute chart whatever you like okay so let's just see how it plays out this by side liquidity I'm sorry my internet is not that good okay and also we got in sell side liquidity here if we are going below the sell side liquidity means our criteria for the model would be also completed right so you see I'm just wait. So now let's just play it out. Okay, sell side liquidity has been taken out. And again, let's see if it is hitting this PDRA after 9 30. Okay, so now you can see price has touched that PDRA. Okay, now if we go from there, then we can see if we got any rejection above these high right so we got in a structure shift here if you see the structure shift and now if we're not reversing then we will not be trading right we should be reversing at that point is our stop loss can be 
good like two to one to two hour right let's see how it plays out okay so you can see it is not reversed dead level so our setup has not occurred today it means we should not be rushing it out so let me show you the another example so we should be marking out the internal van liquidity right internal van liquidity which is buy side liquidity and then external van liquidity which is this okay we should be waiting till that ce level for better results okay either if market is moving up giving a good structure shift with smt divergence we can go for buy side liquidity right so internal range liquidity and then we'll go to one word chart right let's see so this is your one word chart we might sweep the low this is the fairly gap right we might sweep this low but if we're not then we'll be focusing on upward movements right after 9 30. so let's see let's mark it out the 9 30 30 minute candle right 30 minute candle let's see this is um, 9 30 candle we should be marking out this bpr which is um, the fair value gap on both sides which we call bpr which is very powerful right let's see if we go to one minute chart oh, sorry oh yeah one minute chart okay let's see you can use five minute charts either okay let's see how it plays out right okay it's going good okay now let's see market is touched that fairly gap which is bpr right which is bpr touch that bpr let's see how it plays out if we are finding any structure shift then we will be going for okay market is again touched this daily fairly gap and created the liquidity takes out the liquidity right takes out the liquidity and then we got this swing high if we are if we are shifting the structure closing above it then we are bullish right with fair value gap let's see how it plays out so we got in a structure shift okay now we can go from this breakup block right there there is the breakup block we can go enter from this breakup block and then we will be targeting one to two rr right let's see how it plays out if we're getting a stop loss our entry right there then we can target the two rr let's see okay two rr let's see how it plays out good okay good it's nice the one pip it may might give us um, the smt divergences right either it can hit our stop loss let's see how it plays out you can take partials here right so boom it is mostly it or two rr right we should be always targeting two rr thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you like this video and we will be making more videos very soon and we will give our spread knowledge to people okay and either if you're not liking my way of teaching sorry teaching then you can either learn from anybody else because knowledge is an ocean you can get drops from any other guy okay thank you so much